What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today we have the September 2020 Albuquerque International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any content to come. We are rolling through the year, guys. We're already to September, and that means Albuquerque's back for the first Friday of the month. Got a lot of talking at the end, so if you would stick around, it would be very much appreciated. But anyways, we'll get started right here with the, this American Eagle Barbirne Sierra Day-700. Going to be making the turnaround out to Phoenix today. This is the same from the previous months, just that one Sierra Day-700. Just a little more bird-eye view. It's right here, we have the Frontier Airlines, Airbus A320 Neo. This is Flower the Hummingbird. He's going to be heading out to Denver today, uh, as always, on the turnaround. Uh, glad to see that this flight is still going strong with multiple flights a day or multiple flights in a week, my bad. All right, right here we have the Delta Connection Amber Year J170 filling in for the 175, of course. Going to be heading out to Salt Lake City today. Uh, definitely looking for some variety. Obviously, we had some of that before the pandemic, and here we are now. Pushing back service out to Atlanta or Citrus Aviation's airport. Right here we have the Delta Airlines Airbus A321. Uh, I'll talk more about subscriber routes at the end if you got confused. Uh, very in, uh, very detailed speech about that in the Dallas update, but uh, yeah, heading out to Citrus Aviation Airport, we'll talk about that more so uh, in a moment. Very excited to get the NG, thank you to go along with the Aero Classics 1, uh, Gemini 1 obviously is going to be like this with big engines, so that's kind of where we're at uh, with that. Right here we have Delta Connection Ember Year J170 filling in for the 175 with enhanced winglets of course heading out to Los Angeles. Flight is still going strong as it resumed in the last update. Not really much has changed unfortunately here at Albuquerque like uh, the title kind of got at uh, just all of last month's changes and just a couple of really small tweaks. Right here we have the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900ER 100 year strong Boeing livery heading out to Seattle on the turnaround today of course. Uh, very nice to have this aircraft in here. Just been some 737s, 800s, and 900s and no Portland back at as far as I know, unless if it's like uh, once or twice a week. So I apologize if I missed it, but I do not believe it's back. Right here we have the American Eagle Umber ERJ 170 coming in from Chicago here today. 175, I'm sorry. Coming in from Chicago today on the turnaround. Uh, I'm sorry about the light, guys. I'll talk about it towards the end, what's going on with that situation, but it's not helping that these intervals outside are not giving us tons of light in here, uh, shining in, obviously. And right here we have the American Airlines, Boeing 737-800, heading back to Dallas, Fort Worth, of course. Been very nice to have the lots of mainline back, and the A319S also comes in once a day, so I'll probably throw that in the next update, but I thought I'd throw this uh, normal 737-800 in here once again, because that's normally what you would see. Okay, we got the United Airlines, Airbus A320, and Stars and Bars livery. Really nice to get this aircraft in here for the first time. Just came in from Denver, and is going to be turning around out there uh, soon enough. Uh, very nice to get the aircraft in here, and uh, it's been mainly uh, A320s and A319s, and uh, obviously the RJs, as we'll touch on in a moment. Speaking of RJs right here, we have the United Express Ember ERJ-175 and the current paint team, or the new one, whatever you would like to call it. He's going to be heading out to Denver today, and he arrived in from uh, Houston, which I'll talk about the turnaround, uh, why it's doing it like that uh, momentarily, and kind of give you guys a little lesson, and there will be a big lesson at the end that you don't want to miss out on. All right, right here we have the Legionnaire Airbus A318 with Sharklets, the fantasy model, as we all like to call it. It's pushing back with service out to Orlando today. Uh, I'm pretty sure that route's already done for the year. I could be wrong, uh, just because it's seasonal, not because... Um, it's uh, getting suspended or anything, but just because it's seasonal, of course. And we'll just say he arrived in from Austin. Uh, obviously, Austin, Las Vegas, uh, Orlando are the routes Austin, Las Vegas year round. And right here we have the South Australians, Boeing 737-700 Canyon Blue livery. He just arrived in from Phoenix Sky Harbor. He's going to be heading out to Dallas Love Field. Right here we have the South Australians, Boeing 737-800 uh, with split some tars in the Canyon Blue livery. Just arrived in from Denver. He's going to be heading out to Los Angeles. A lot more 700s for Albuquerque, but uh, very interesting indeed. South Australians, Boeing 737-700 in Colorado. Colorado One paint scheme just arrived in from Las Vegas. It's going to be heading out to Oakland. Two really cool routes. I saw Colorado One come in from Oakland. Not sure where it went. That was my final day at Albuquerque in 2018. Uh, that was like update three or something. Man, that's crazy how time flies. And finally, for the Southwest section at the concourse, we got a 737 there, 700 and a hard livery. Yes, missing will. Frustrating. Anyways, arrived in from Baltimore. It's going to be heading out to Chicago Midway. Two one daily routes. Everything else, like uh, San Antonio, Austin, and multiple other routes are suspended at the current time. And here's the loose end. As right here, we have the United Express Papier and a CRJ-200. There we go, tripod. Man, I got to get a new one, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyways, he arrived in from Houston. He's going to be heading out to Denver. Something I have seen come back. Uh, it was present before the pandemic, but it wasn't really a big time deal. 
Uh, United does do something similar to what Southwest, um, sometimes Frontier, and a couple other airlines do. What they do is they'll send an aircraft uh, from a bay, or this is mainly just for subsidiaries uh, at the smaller airports. They send an aircraft from a hub in there and then they send it to another hub. In this example, the CRJ200 arrived in from Houston and heads out to Denver. Uh, I'm not sure what the uh, why United Subsidiaries does that. I'm sure for Delta and multiple edges, like these two E175s could definitely flip. I think it's interesting though and a little more creative than turnarounds because obviously the rest of the flights here are turnarounds. Now Southwest is getting a crew base here, so I'm not sure if that will uh, make more aircraft sit on the ground, but they've obviously had their focus city for a long time in New Mexico one of course, so I'm not sure. Definitely interesting, but uh, nice to get the CRJ200 in here, ready for some new livery United, and I know you guys are probably tired of me talking about it, so let's get on to our next aircraft. 10 second trivia. What time of the year can I record Albuquerque updates in great sunny lighting? Spring, summer, fall, or winter? Due to the Earth's access, I can only record great sunny lighting updates in the summer. While we could go on about how it works for 20 minutes, here is a condensed down version. Due to my location, the sun varies in position year-round, with the earliest sunrise at 6 a.m. and the latest sunrise at 8 a.m. Since the light only hits Albuquerque in June, July, and August, I can only do awesome lighting updates in the summer. Pulling into the cargo concourse right here, we have the FedEx Express Boeing 767-300 freighter. He's arriving in from Memphis today, obviously. I apologize. Uh, just pulling in. UPS just left and he's heading out to the runway. UPS 767 arrives first, then the uh, 767 FedEx arrives after that, uh, about a couple hours after. But I'm sure they both sit on the ground, but for the airport update purpose, I have the UPS taxi. Have not seen any other flights. Uh, FedEx has just done the 767 mainly and a couple of 800s The Memphis, UPS uh, 767 to Louisville, and that's it. Excited for Christmas though, because I'll be able to throw all the uh, cargo planes into Christmas, but uh, I've been really proud of all the cargos I've been getting recently. And maybe, just maybe, I can try to do a custom on a Cessna 208 FedEx uh, by uh, Shapeways. That would be really, really neat, I feel like, if I could somehow pull that off. All right, we have this beast right here, UPS Boeing 767 that's 300 freighter. Still in the old livery. I know that's not a thing, but, or not. These aircraft in the old livery is not a thing, but I mean, at the current anymore, but I don't think it's worth getting another model. Anyways, he just arrived in from Louisville earlier today, and he's already turning around. He just left the gate, and he's going to be taking off on 08. I accidentally kind of messed up, but I'm going to be able to make up for it right here. Is right here, we have the United Express number here, J175. Came in from Chicago, he's going to be heading up to San Francisco. Those would normally be turnarounds. Those aren't like continuation flights through the smaller airport, just like I was explaining with the Denver-Houston deal. Uh, that was my fault on accident. Uh, they've had, they still have Chicago, San Francisco, Houston, Denver, which is the only four routes they did have. Los Angeles got cut way back in 2018 or whatever, early. But uh, yeah, uh, anyways, really, really good stuff here for the Ember Year G175. Really nice aircraft. Highly recommend pick it up if you can find it. Very nice aircraft to finish off the update right here. It's right here with the South Airlines, Boeing 737-700. And the Maryland One paint scheme arrived in from Dallas Love Field. It's going to be heading out to Denver International Airport today. And that will do for today's video, guys. I do have a couple things I do want to talk about with you guys. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching through the airport update. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, we have a couple things to talk about. First and foremost, I know I said I would touch on subscriber routes. So, uh, I explained it very precisely in the Dallas update, but on the Google form, I added uh, in-depth instructions, a video tutorial for how to properly do it, and then I also added the your airport update video link, which has made it a lot better, and I can... Uh, it's really nice because I actually just click on your guys' video link and then I can go comment and tell you guys if you did a good job and if you did it right or if you need to fix something, what to fix. So I thought that was a really ingenious idea for subscriber out, so we're all on the same page. So if you do submit one, I'll be sure to go watch your video, leave a comment, and tell you how good you did and how awesome your airport is. So I uh, just thought that was a really good way and I can uh, start watching your guys' videos more. So thank you guys for uh, being uh, nice and supportive and doing that, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos recently. Uh, speaking of videos, September is loaded. As you guys will notice, uh, we'll have two videos today. The American MD-80 uh, got retired one year ago today, so we'll have that video coming out. I think I'll do it a little after this video, probably. And then earlier in the week, there was two big videos as well. We had the Orange County video and then the uh, summer finale spotting vlog, which was really, really fun to make. I spent a lot of time on it. But uh, yeah, I'm way ahead of you guys. I'm like five days ahead, which I've sometimes been trying to do because uh, we got a loaded month. Next week, next Friday, is my birthday. Yes, it is on September 11th of 2003. I'll be 17 years old on that day, and it's crazy how fast time has flown. Uh, so, 
We'll have a special video there, and I'll definitely make sure to have uh, respect for the 9/11 uh, incident. 9/11-01 uh, uh, respect uh, is what we'll have for that. And then um, I'll give it just a little more rundown. The following week, you're going to expect uh, Dallas, and then a, the, one of the biggest videos I've ever done, the biggest unboxing I've ever done of models. It's going to be a birthday marathon and it's going to be really really good so i hope you guys are excited for that and then the next week phoenix sky harbor is going to be ready i'm getting the final touches on it done i'm about 90 percent done with it i'm doing the concourses and that's literally it i've just painted them today and then i'll be putting on the windows doing the nail hole and that's it and then we're going to be ready to go mark your calendar september 25th is going to be the big day and i'm really really excited for this month guys it is loaded we'll also have a lot of good videos in there on the mondays and uh Wednesdays, but just a little rundown on that. So really, really good stuff. Albuquerque is definitely progressing. Hopefully next month we'll, with the September schedules, whether it's good or bad, we'll have some significant changes and we'll have to see how that goes. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the update. Lots going on and I'm really excited for what's to come. Uh, like I said, Albuquerque's looking good and I'm still trying to get ahead. Uh, if you'd go join the Discord, if you want to stay up to date with the latest information and have epic talks about aviation, the link's in the description. Also, you can go check out my Instagram if you wish. I would, it'd be very much appreciated. But my name is Redditor of Aviation. I hope you guys enjoyed this Albuquerque update. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see how this airport's progressed, you can go watch the playlist. There's almost 30 of these now, which is uh, pretty bonkers. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, guys. Stay safe. And no matter what you're doing, be happy and enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon as Red Raider Aviation is signing off.